are you guys doing? So I know it's been a while since I've been back but here is a makeup look. I'm gonna teach you how I did it because it's so easy. Um, I got inspired from this makeup look from Rita Ehrman. Um, she's so talented. You should check out her Instagram. So as you can see I've already put a concealer from Makeup Revolution and in the color C8. I'm just like the trick with this makeup concealer is that you have to wait for a couple of minutes to let it dry and then it's very easy to blend. I'm just using a Morphe um, beauty blender or a Morphe sponge and the way that this sponge is angled is so easy to reach into your inner corners. So as you can see, I'm just letting it um, seep through my skin. I'm tapping and I'm extending it all the way um, outside of my eye and I'm also making sure that the inner corner are covered because I really like a very clean and obviously um, seamless look. The next color is the Huda Beauty, um, I think this is Amethyst if I'm not mistaken, yes it's Amethyst. Using a large fluffy brush or a blending brush, I'm just like putting it on top of my crease line because I really want um, this color to like shine through. Then I'm using the sapphire palette and I'm using the bottom color, the middle bottom blue because I really like this color right here and then I'm just putting that on top of the pink one and then just blending through where both colors meet. Then I'm using the black eyeliner from Sephora. I think this is the, um, yeah, I think this is Sephora, yeah, definitely. So I really like this um, Sephora eyeliners. I, I actually thought it wasn't really a good eyeliner, but then I was really surprised because like the color is so intense. And then I'm just using a pink blusher to like um, put colors on the side of my face. Today I want the flowers on the left side of my face, um, maybe because it's easier for me to work on the left hand side, I'm not sure, but that's where I chose where the colors should be. And I left the other eye empty because obviously you want that kind of feeling where you have eyeshadow on your right and then on the left it just sort of like scattered on the side and then voila, the flowers showed up. I'm using Huda Beauty Winter Solstice highlighter um, to just highlight in inside my eyelid and also on my um, on my cheekbone um, I really like this highlighter but I find that if I am just using it for like an everyday look it's really hard to like blend purple and pink together so I kind of like want to have a gold toned highlighter because it goes well with my skin tone but you know what if I'm on a full makeup mode like this goes really amazing like the effect so going back on the Huda Beauty Sapphire palette I'm just using the bottom middle color the blue one and then just spread it across on the side of my face because um, you know as I said I wanted it to spread from like the eyelid all the way to the left hand side of my face and on the side so sort of like an inception thing but uh, like not really <laughs> Then using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in white or blanc, whatever you say it, um, I'm just like doing an outline on the flowers. Listen you guys, I am not an artist, least of all like a very very good artist. Like I can't even draw a cow for all I care but I really think that if you practice, so what I do is I practice first on a piece of paper and see if I can draw it. If I don't, then I don't even put it on my face because what's the point, right? So I practice first on the paper and see if I could like 50% or 80% nail it. If I can, and I trust myself that I can, um, then I would transfer it on my face because it's easier that way. A lot of people think this is filter, but it's actually really not. It's so funny how they would um, send me DMs and say, on my Instagram, um, they would send me DMs and say, oh, that's a really nice filter, where did you find that? And I'm like, oh, actually it's makeup. So I'm, it's actually, I'm very flattered that they would think it's filter, because like, filter is filter. It's, it's perfect, it's supposed to make you feel beautiful. So if my makeup makes you feel beautiful, then I've done a great job, right? 
So I'm just creating the petals under the big flower. And this is a long process, so I'm just gonna shut up and make you enjoy the music. of the flowers and the yellow ones but really it's just easy you just use the same palette from Huda which is the um, the amethyst palette and then you just sort of like use a really flat synthetic small brush and then just brush through the petals um, so as you can see here I'm just using the NYX vivid brights liner oh that's my cat vivid brights liner in white or blanc again to just like make the color more intense because the Jimbo pencil did the outlining very well but I feel like I still need to make the colors pop otherwise it wouldn't work so yeah this was I actually really thought I couldn't do it but it's really really um, once you put your mind to it and once you get there it's really really um, easy because if you actually think about it it's all just like using colors and you know, drawing the petals and making sure you know how to do the petals on a piece of paper first before you make a transfer to your to your skin. So, yeah, um, as, yeah. So, like all of this is just like an inspiration for me. Like Rita Ehrman is really such an amazing um, makeup artist. Again, you should check out her Instagram because she's like amazing. So I'm using a blue shade to color my lips. I don't have a blue lipstick, but what I did was I used Inglot Duraline Oil and scraped a little bit of the Huda Beauty Palette Sapphire. And then voila, you have your lipstick, right? However, it's a little bit dry, so I wouldn't recommend it for daily wear. Um, I wouldn't recommend blue lipstick for daily wear anyway. <laughs> I, I think you would shock your colleagues, but yeah, so I hope you guys love this tutorial. It's really, really easy, however time-consuming, but you know, beauty is what it is. It's about challenging yourself and seeing if you can do it. And also, um, you guys, if you like this tutorial, please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Dubai Maven. And please leave a comment down below if you want to see more looks like this. I love you guys and I miss you guys. I'm so happy to be back. And I promise this is so much better. I've found a way to do videos and one minute video on Instagram all together from my YouTube and my Instagram. I don't think I would like to have Snapchat because it's like a 15 year old and I'm 37. I don't think I can do that. But anyway, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.